Hey there everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today is total body toned. We're gonna do a quick, to the point, efficient total body strength training workout. Just warm up with me, side to side step tack. So here's what you need, one set of dumbbells. I'm working with 10 pounds, you work with something that's moderate for your level. So we're gonna use that for all of the exercises. You can adjust your reps as you need to. If you wanna keep a heavier or lighter set on hand that you can switch up and down to, that's awesome too. But first, we're just warming up. We're gonna get going. So I've been really looking for a very short, but right to the point strength routine to do, maybe before some cardio, or if you're just short on time. So hopefully this will be it for you too. This is the one I've been doing. Just walk in place. We're gonna take a little side to side easy baby squat. Let's start to the right. Take it down, go left. Nice. Sit back in your hips, just step out and in. You got it. Good. Four more right here. Four, three, two, and one. Take it out, just pulse, hold. Let's open the arms out in front of the chest, and I want you to just start to give me an upper back row. So pull those shoulder blades back and together. Good. Make sure you're still back in the hips, your spine is neutral and long. You got it. Squat and press up overhead. Sit back, push. Good, now staying with this, or you're gonna option up by lifting your right heel, then your left heel. So you're shifting your weight. Optional, one more level. A little side lift. Working through the hips. Good. Keep it low. You got it. Last three. Two and one. Awesome. Walk it out and hold it. So from here, just want you to tap back, switch legs. Keep your posture tall. We're gonna wake up those glutes. See if you can make that tap a little lift off. So a little hip extension to the back. Work those glutes. Good. Now let's go back to the taps. Tap it back, hold, lift, hold, lift. If you can, drop it down, lift off. Or just tap the back toe when you come up. Down, tap or lift. Down, lift, good. Lower, squeeze one more time. Come up, we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna do two, tap, and lift. Tap, and lift. Dropping down, tap, or lift off with that back leg. And just see how you feel about getting low into that lunge. Good. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Down. Just a few more here, making sure those joints are ready to go. Nice. Last time. Squeeze. Great job, guys. So let's get down to business. Go grab your weights carefully. Remember, we always want to lift with the legs. Don't round your back and bend over. So our first move is a classic, squat to press. You're gonna take those weights to the front of your shoulders. You're gonna take your feet wide apart. Turn out your toes just a snitch. We're gonna sit back for two, push up overhead. Sit back, see if maybe your elbows can tap the tops of your thighs. Push down evenly through your toes and your heels. Sit back, squeeze up tall, sit back. Keep those weights slightly in front of you at the top. Good, one more. Nice, now hold it, turn your palms in. Hinge forward, squeeze up, nice little deadlift. Hinge forward, squeeze your glutes as you come up. Do not let your back round, do not go too low to the floor. I have not seen many people be able to keep their back flat and touch the ground with their weights. 
So I want you to keep your spine neutral and just aim for about mid shin level. Maybe not even that low. Squeeze the back of your body to come up. Just look at the floor and then straight ahead. Two more. Good. One more, then we're gonna go right back to that squat to press. Weights in front of the shoulders. Let's go down the two. Press it strong. We got three sets of everything. Yeah, don't groan at me. I know a lot of you are like, why can't we do more exercises? This is getting boring. Heels to deal. Repetition leads to skill mastery, especially when you're working with weights. So sometimes it's better to stay with less exercises and build more strength. That's what we're all about today. Less to think about, more to power through. Come on, work those muscles. Yeah. We mix things up within the different workouts we do. One more. Good. Take it forward, deadlift. Down, squeeze up. Hinge forward, squeeze up. So again, I'm not giving you a set rep count here on purpose because I want you to pay attention to how you feel. Maybe you fatigue before I do. Maybe you need more weight. Up to you, keep listening to your body, keep checking in so that you keep upping your challenge safely and appropriately. Let's try for about two more, see where you're at. We got one final set of both, ready? Weights at the shoulders, let's go. Down for two, press for two. Keep your chest lifted. Don't round forward. Look straight ahead. Push down through those feet evenly. Good. Yes. Stay strong. So it's our third set. Should be starting to get a little more fatigued now. That's how you know you're using enough weight. If you feel like, ah, oh, I could do three more sets. Time to upgrade. Good. Down. Just give me one more if you can. Let's get ready. Deadlift, last set. Let's go. Down for two. Squeeze up. Good. So again, it's more about that neutral spine than how far forward you hinge. Keep those abs engaged. Pull them into your spine. You got this. Go ahead. Down. And left. Keep going. Uh -huh. Squeeze. Up two more. Nice job. Last time. Awesome. Let's carefully just set one weight to the floor. So we're gonna move on to a rear lunge and a front raise, holding both ends of that single dumbbell. So we're gonna alternate feet, keep your feet hip width apart. Once you just step back, reach that dumbbell front of the chest. Come up and switch legs. Push it out, pull it in. Push it out, pull it in. Good, I'm gonna do a little three quarter here for you. So I want you to keep your shoulders above your hips. I want you to feel the front thigh the most. Bend the knee over your ankle. Good, abs in tight. Pull up, take it down, lift. Reach. Lots of control through the core muscles here. Supporting the spine. Give me one more on each leg. <sighs> Lift. Good, now take that dumbbell in your front arm, step your back leg away. Hinge forward, put your other hand on your low back. I want you to reach down a little deeper, row back, pull single-sided stationary lunge and row. Good. Keep going. Five, it's like a little wind up. Four, three, two, one. Come up and switch. Change your leg, change your arm, hand on the low back. Hinge and lunge, drop down a little deeper. Down, pull. Pull it back. Send your elbow behind you. Good. Uh-huh, stay strong. Good. 
three, two, one more if you can. Beautiful. Come back. Grab that weight with both hands. Let's start again. Step back, reach, lift, step back, lift. Don't let the weight tip you backwards. Pull your abs in tight. Raise it right in front of that chest. Good. Front of the shoulders, little chest. Lots of legs. Heart rate's getting up there too. I hope, not just me. Reach, good. Squeeze. Good, come on guys. One more. Good. Let's start with the back leg this time. Flat back. Here we go. Ready? Dip down a little deeper. Down. Pull back. Really get down there. You got it. Pull with the back. Use the abs. Two more if you can. Switch sides, change arms, change legs. Ready, get down, pull, down, pull. Nice. Come on, stay over that front leg, keep your back flat. Push down through that entire foot, toes and heels even. I'm starting to sweat, I don't know about you. Last two if you got them. Third and final set. Grab that weight, step back and lunge. Good. Make it as big as you can, controlled as you can. Breathe. I'm gonna catch my breath a little after those lunge and rows. Remember, tall posture. Shoulders stay stacked over our hips. Don't lean back. If you're leaning back, you might need to lighten your weight or skip a few reps. Totally cool. Listen to your body. Make it work. Good. Last three if you got them. Two. One more. Woo! Finishing up, front side. Step back and lunge, ready? Go get it. Down, row. Low as you can go here, come on. Four more if you got them. Beautiful, switch. Woo. Let's get right into it. Drop down, ready? Here we go, let's do it. Final four if you got them. Beautiful. Carefully go grab that second weight. All right, guys. So we're going to go into the arms. Feet hip width apart. You're going to take a little hammer curl. Palms face in. Tap the toe. Lower down, switch feet. Tap the toe. So you're going to stay with your feet hip width apart, but you're going to tap one toe out to the side. Control. Option two. Low balance. Lower. Don't let it affect your upper half. Squeeze those abs in tight. Up. Resist coming down. Don't drop those weights. Good. Whew. Nice. Stay with me. Squeeze. Down. We're going to do four more here. Four. And lower. Or you stop sooner if you've already fatigued. Two more. 
last time. Great job. From here, hinge forward at your hips. You're gonna take your arms behind you. You're gonna bend your elbows. You're gonna extend out. You're gonna lower down. Take that up to tempo. One, two, three, four. Up, bend, extend, lower. It's easy to swing. Don't swing. Muscle through it strong. Lift, bend, extend, lower. Lift, bend, extend, lower. Lift, bend, extend, I know. Everything's working through the back of that upper half. Four, three, two more if you got it. One more option. Awesome, second set. Biceps right into the tap or your lift. Lower with control, squeeze, good. Up. So nice, quick. This is really like circuit training. It is circuit training because we're not resting in between moves. We're working multiple muscles at once. Your heart rate is up. Is there a cardio effect in this? Absolutely. You don't have to do jumping jacks to get your heart rate up, especially if you're lifting enough weight. If you're not, this is not gonna feel as challenging. Good but it certainly gives you a place to go to, right? Find what's challenging for you, but allows you to stay safe. One more if you got it in there. Woo! Awesome, let's take it back. Hinge it forward. Ready, lift and bend. Up, bend, extend, lower. Up, bend, extend, lower. If this is too tough, can you alternate your arms? Yes. Can you do it without weight? Yes. Could you grab ladder dumbbells? Yes. All of the above. Make it work. But don't swing it. Whatever you do, lift, bend, extend. Can tell I am getting tired because it's hard to get up there. I'm gonna do two more. You see what you can do. One more. Oh my goodness. Third and final set. Let's start with the right leg. Top or lift, let's go. Hammer curl, down. Keep your abs tight, shoulders square, don't lean. Good. So we're almost there, guys. After we finish this set for the arms, we're gonna hit the floor. We're gonna do some chest and a plank for the abs, and then you're done. So hopefully I kept my promise, keeping it to the point. Short and sweet, but effective. Good, squeeze, and down, a couple more. One more if you got it in there. Woo, all right, get ready. Triceps, just do your best. Ready, here we go. Up, bend, squeeze, and down. Up, bend, squeeze, and down. Lift it, bend, press. So remember, if you've already fatigued those muscles and you can't control that weight anymore, you rest. I am struggling to keep my form, so I may need to stop sooner than you do. I'm not ashamed to say that. There's no judgment here, we just do our best. I'm gonna eke one more out. If you got more in there, go for it. Woo, all right. So let's take a second to carefully transition to the floor. So I want you to come on down. And we're gonna work your abs and your chest at the same time. Just gotta move my mic pack over. Okay, so grab those weights. Take your legs at 90 degrees, bent knees. Elbows out to the sides, but not touching the floor. You're gonna bend one knee into your chest as you press your elbows up, extend the opposite leg, switch legs, as you bend your elbows. In for two, out for two. In for two, out for two. Draw your abs in tight. Good. So we're gonna keep the head, neck, and shoulders on the floor for now, but 
As you draw that knee into your chest, really pull the belly in tighter to your spine so you feel that ab activation zipping up from the lower part of that abdominal wall all the way to the top half. Exhale, inhale. Good. Nice. Good. One more. Awesome, all right. So from here, set your weights down. Rock yourself up. We're gonna turn over and you can either do this on your elbows if you have wrist issues, on your hands, or you can try it on top of your dumbbells. Back to plank position. Get your shoulders over your hands wherever they're at. Bend one knee to your elbow. Step back. So I want you to tap your knee to your elbow. Use those obliques. Don't let your shoulders start to drift. Keep them over your hands or your elbows. Four, three, two, give me one more. Beautiful, come down carefully. Widen the weights, turn around. <sighs> two more rounds, we're almost done, almost done. So carefully bring the weights in front of you before you lie back. 90 degrees, up for two, down for two. Switching the knee as you come in and out. Line those weights above your chest. Right above the midline, not your shoulders. Use the chest. Focus on those abs. Don't let your low back arch off the floor here. That's where we start to feel the low back. Don't let it talk to you. Keep your abs working hard. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. One more up and down, here we go. Great job, take it in carefully, rock yourself up. Leave the weights on the floor, flip it over. Oh no, it's already time to plank again. Okay, so remember, modify to meet your needs. Step back, knee to elbow. Try to tap it, I missed that first one. Good, squeeze. Woo, hello obliques. Four, three, two, give me one more. Oh my goodness, come down carefully. Third and final set. This is it. Let's rock it out, roll back, knees up, ready, two counts in and out. Focus. Don't let your mind exit the workout before your body. So often in life, we're already on to the next thing before we finish the task at hand, right? I'm so guilty of that myself. So stay in it with me. Focus on the muscles. Focus on what your body's doing. Focus on the changes that you're making right now by completing this workout with absolute 100% attention, focus, and energy. Yes, push, resist. Awesome, guys. Bring the weights in front of your chest. Rock it up. Let's finish that plank. We stretch and you're out of here. Okay, so keep your focus. Stay with your form. Stay with the control. Ready, knee to elbow. Four more if you got them. Two. Woo, great job. Carefully come on down. Oh, just set your weights to the side. Let's take a little child's pose while we're here. Hips to heels, stretch your arms out. Just let your chest melt towards the floor. Oh, take a few deep breaths. Open the shoulders, open the chest. Amazing work, you guys. So let's shift our weight into our hands, extend the legs. So we're gonna come up to upward facing dog if that's too intensive, stay on your elbows for cobra, modified cobra. Good, let's come back. From here, walk your hands in. 
Let's step one foot forward and just lunge off of your back knee. So you're gonna stretch through the quad, the hip flexor, hands to the thighs if you can. Breathe. Good. Come on down, switch legs carefully. Step forward on the other side, lunge off that back knee, hands to the thighs if you can. So no weight on that kneecap, don't push on it. Good, now let's just come back up with the body, step your foot in closer so we can step both feet about hip width apart. Inhale, round your spine. Exhale, big arch. Inhale, round. Exhale, big arch. Roll all the way up to standing. Take your hands together behind your back, open across your chest. Just breathe. Woo! Good job. Hands together. Round your spine, drop your chin to your chest. Take a little stretch to the side. So as we wrap up here, just a friendly reminder, guys, if you enjoyed this workout, please make sure to get on our email list. That's how I communicate with you guys more often. I send out motivational emails, workout schedules, rotations. We do challenges all the time. And you'll become part of our community that way. And so we can stay more in touch with everybody. Thank you guys so much for sweating with me today. I hope your entire body feels a little more toned now. I look forward to sweating with you again real soon. Please be sure to check out our other workouts. All the playlist links are below. And we, Peanut and I, will see you for another workout soon. Take care, everybody.